So this is one of the two storerooms where we've kept all of the PPE. What we've done is we've separated out all of the PPE from the rest of the hospital stock so that we can really effectively manage it. You can see we've had a number of deliveries, hence all of the boxes around the edge, which is obviously great news for everybody. We're actually calculating what the demand is and what the need is across all of the areas of health and social care and actually into the wider community and we're making sure that we're delivering that to them every single day. So if we start over here, what you'll see is there's actually two days worth of stock of surgical masks that's going out around the acute. So you can see they're all, this is pathologies, this is rayon going up to the overlands. Um, so everything is, is um, calculated so that everybody has sessional usage of masks. So basically they wear it for four hours and then they change it. So these are literally calculated so they have exactly the right number with a little bit of a buffer every single day for all of the staff in a 24 hour period. So this is tomorrow's, tomorrow morning's drop that'll happen and then the next day. We try and keep that one day ahead each time. The boxes that we've got down here are a mixture of what we've called emergency boxes. So there's areas where patients aren't necessarily being shielded yet, um, but we want them to ensure that they have PPE. Should they need to shield a patient or an individual, they've got PPE on hand so that there's no worries, no concerns at all. So they have an emergency box. We have areas obviously as well. So you can see we've got care homes here, we've got GP practices, we've got our community nursing, we've got lots of different areas. There's lots of different types of masks that we have as well. So we've got the surgical masks, that's the large amount over there and that are contained in most of these. There's also the FFP3s. As you can see, we've got a great deal and we've got plenty, plenty more on the way. But there are also different varieties of FFP3s. So people are fit tested for different types of FFP3s. And we've got more just over here as well. And what we make sure is that we're delivering the right mask to the individual person who's been fit tested for that mask so that they're always protected. And another thing I'd really love to share with you is how fantastic the community's been in terms of supporting us with getting the right PPE out to the right people. So what we've got in here is we've actually got some visors. This was 3D printed and you can see there's acetate put on front of it. Then that was um, upgraded also to an injection mould as you can see here the injection mould again with acetate. Um, we've had a number of our families as well <laughs> helping by actually putting the acetate onto the injection moulded headband. So we're getting the whole communities and families involved in, in creating these things for us, which is fantastic. Another thing we've had donated is actually from a company based in Alderney. So Channel Jumpers um, sent us these clogs for usage um, in the hot ICU and also on Brock Ward, which is absolutely fantastic. The community support has been absolutely fantastic and we really value it, so thank you.